Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to make this video sharing a conversation I had with a roofer yesterday. Um, so basically, you know, this guy is, is you know, a pretty much like a savant. He's, he's, we, we see these in our industries from time to time. The guys who are really killing it, they, they tend to be somewhat like more of a marketer and a salesman uh, compared to a roofer, right? Uh, I've seen this across the board at this point, I could say. Um, the guys who are really good, super ultra confident, you know, they're just like absolutely demolishing the market in many ways. They they just ha happen to come from this whole mindset of marketing. You know, they understand the whole idea of how to invest your money uh, properly in the right places to get back more lead generation, branding, et cetera, et cetera, properly, right? So anyways, so this guy has, you know, like a team for social media. He has like SEO going for himself. Not the best, but you know, that's where I was trying to kind of come in, but I don't think it's going to really work. The point is, <laughs> he does all the right shit. You know, he has like re relationships with insurance agents around the area. He does like community events, all kinds of stuff that even we don't, you know, we don't really pay mind to because we're in the digital space. But he's killing it in both sides very well and growing his business. And the point of this video is this part where he explained to me this old school technique that works so well for him to this day, to this till this day, and that is door knocking door to door knocking right and he explained to me that you know this is still one of the best ways to generate business for his uh, you know leads for his business etc and um you know in his and I, I was questioning i'm like how come right you know you are so good at what you do um you know you, from online and offline and all of these things why do you still have reps that go out door knocking and this is how he explained it to me he's like as far as you can see sales will still sales will always be based on emotion Okay, so, you know, I, I can already tell he's like a student of sales and marketing and stuff like, you know, very passionate about this whole, you know, idea of how he generates leads for his business, etc. Um, but the point was, he goes on to say that the fastest way you can get to that no or the yes is to be in front of the person who can, who has the capacities to say yes or no. And that really made sense, right? It's something that, you know, we know from before. I've talked about this before and, and basically... It comes out to how we play out our sales, right? It's, it's pretty much the same shit in, in a way, right? The sentiment behind it. When we're emailing our clients, right? The amount of emotion we can invoke is pretty low. That is why if you want to grow your business and email marketing is one of the main ways you want to um, you know, generate your business, uh, in, in terms of the skill set, the, like the level of skill you need, it needs to be quite high in the industry, right? So your level, your, your your skill as a your skill level as an email marketer has to be pretty high to gain traction to gain customers gain clients uh, just using email now let's bridge the gap a bit more let's say the person's here and let's bridge it like like around halfway let's say cold calling i've said this before cold calling just works right because no matter what you do, you don't have to, you bypass all the, oh, did they open it? Did they, if they open it, did they click the link? And if they click the link, should I like send their email? And if they reply, then I'll send this. If they don't reply to the email in two days, I want to send this. By One of the ways to bypass all those things is just calling them. Phone rings, they will talk. You will get to feel them, you know, and their whole emotion behind what you're saying right then and there by how they talk, how they listen. I know it depends on how good you are at cold calling. But the point is, once again, the since you're doing something that's a bit closer to that person, you know, like, you know, in terms of how the world works, you know, you're listening to them, they're hearing you. That's more emotional than a 2D screen based email texting, right? Since you're closing, you're going to need less skill, meaning you, uh, in your skill set, in your skill level of being a cold caller across the industry, you could be just average. Right? I said this before, I'm not that good at cold calling, right? And uh, you know, be, before how I explained it was the more balls you have, the less skills you need. And this is pretty much the same shit. I'm pretty, you know, saying it again from the point of view of a roofer. When you're cold calling, it just works because you are bridging the gap to a great distance compared to all the other types of funnel stuff that, are, that is out there. If I got a group of people still t today, you know, like five people, were given to me and I have them for a month and you know uh, they they are they're, they want to give me their time and energy to you know help get more sales I would instead of me trying to teach them email and all this stuff and video artists and stuff like that I would probably just get a good script that I believe in and I would work with them to hit the numbers as much calls as we can get every single day right 
because that's the closest way you can, I, I believe you can get there. Now, lastly, this is not really, doesn't really apply to most of us because most of us don't do this. Uh, it, it's pretty ballsy, and, but that, and that is door knock, right? No matter what anybody says that that is waste of time, et cetera, it's not gonna work. If I see the damn roofer walking across the street and I'm like, hey, and he looks at me and thinks I'm a maniac, I at least have his attention. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but at the fucking least, I have his attention, he's looking at me, and I walk over there, I show him what I do, I show him what I have done, and there's a potential, you know, I will get the answer right then and there, right? At least some kind of good commitment will happen at a short amount of time, right? Compared to all the loops we have to go through for email and phone call and stuff like that, right? So understand that. It doesn't mean that, you know, we should all start doing, you know, door to door, or just all start doing cold calling, because obviously, the, the more, bridge you gap the more effort it takes right talking about going and driving and door knocking people talking about in the middle one picking up the phone and calling people using your time and the last one is something that's hard but done right i guess you know if you're a savant at it it could be completely somewhat automated um very few people i know have it completely automated but it can be done so you get the point right what we take from this is basically if you're emailing and you're not getting, you know, you're not really getting through. Understand that it's gonna come down to emotion. Does your headline be, is, 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 is your headline, is your subject line oh, important enough? Is it, um, it, does it have enough interest for them, for them to, you know, pick interest and actually open the email? Once they read your email, the content, is it personalized enough? Is it, you know, does that in, like make them feel like they're gonna be missing out? Enough so that they actually click the link and watch your video if there's any video audits. If you're calling and not really getting through, are you coming in a way that is actually, um, you know, that that's not, that's not like a salesman or, you know, there's so many ways you can go about it. But the point is, are you saying the stuff you're telling them, the offer you have, is it something that they're interested in? Is it something that they're looking to get done, right? Looking to grow their business, etc. And if you're door knocking, I don't know how many people are doing that. Um, I don't know how that could not work. I mean, like, you know, if you go the next two weeks and if you were to be in a place and you're just door knock 10, 12 roofers or, you know, people in your target market, and uh, you just walked up to them every single day, by the end of the week, you're going to know either your offer sucks, however you have laid it out, it either sucks, dick, or you're going to get sales. It's just going to be one or the other. Guarantee that, all right? So just wanted to share that.